there seems to be some errors in the code as we have there in NetBeans. This is because we haven't address addressed the potential problems that can arise when we do file handling. So when we start looking at a particular file and trying to make that connection between the file and the Java program, it is possible that the file doesn't already exist or that the particular file is corrupted. If the file doesn't exist, Java will create it for you. So that part is handled, but it could be that something has happened to the file. It's not writable. It's been changed to read only. It's missing. Something has gone wrong. So the key to this is to try to write to a file, but to have a clause in case something goes wrong. And this is known as a try catch. What it means is that all of our file IO code is surrounded by a try with curly brackets. And then this is followed by a catch, IO exception E, where we print out a message or watch for the problem and then print out whatever that problem happens to be to the user so that they can see that there was an error. And so we have to make sure that we include our try catch when we're going to be working with file handling or file IO. Okay, as always, the best way to see this is in an example. So let's go back and add the exception handling code to the file handling code that we looked at a minute ago. So we can declare our objects, that's fine. We can grab our text from the text field, that's fine. There's no errors there. Where the errors start to happen is when we try to create these files or establish the connection to the text file. So here we should have try, we open our curly bracket, we go to the very end, still inside of our method, and we close the curly bracket. Okay, now you'll see we have an error try without catch. So we still have to then do catch IO exception. So catch any IO exceptions. We'll call them this particular one E. And then system.out.println error writing to file and we can then if you want actually print the contents of E which will be the the Java um, text explaining the error okay now we're still getting an error there cannot find symbol class IO exception so again right click fix imports and now up the top we have this new one Java IO exception and now we have no errors in our method. It's a little untidy because I've added in the try. So I'm going to right click and format and that indents everything correctly. And one last thing I want to do is under bw.close, I'm just going to do j option pane dot show message dialog text successfully written to file okay just that we get a message because we won't see the file happening file handling happening necessarily so just that we get do get a message telling us that it's been written to the file and again we have j option pane can't be seen so fix imports and that will import java.swing.j option pane now if we play that then and i enter francis Submit signature, text successfully written to the file. Okay. Now, it might even be nicer to say, thank you for signing our petition. Okay. Anything like that. Also, what happens then, if we open the folder where we have stored the application, so file IO with text and into your source okay you'll see here once you go into your package folder there's my petition.txt with my name Francis in it so you'll see it has created the file even though it didn't exist for me and it has written my name into it and if we run it one more time build and run and let's enter Joe submit signature 
OK, and we open up that text file again. There's Joe's name instead. OK, so you can see there that the file handling is in fact happening and the text is being written to the file.